How well do you know your compost to help with an eco-friendly world? Here's a fun way to test your composting knowledge. First question, do you know the optimal temperature range for a compost pile to decompose efficiently? Is it A, 40 to 60 degrees Fahrenheit, B, 70 to 90 degrees Fahrenheit, C, 100 to 120 degrees Fahrenheit, or D, 130 to 150 degrees Fahrenheit. Think about it. Moving on. Which of the following organisms play a key role in breaking down organic matter in compost? A. Worms. B. Snails. C. Spiders. Or D. Ladybugs. Interesting choice, isn't it? Next, which composting method involves layering organic materials with soil and allowing them to decompose over time? Is it A. Vermicomposting, B, aerated static pile composting, C, sheet composting, or D, bokashi composting. Now what is the primary function of bulking agents in a compost pile? A, providing nutrients to microorganisms, B, aiding in moisture retention, C, enhancing aeration, or D, reducing odor. Moving forward, which of the following materials is considered a high carbon or brown ingredient in composting? A. Grass clippings B. Coffee grounds C. Sawdust or D. Vegetable scraps What about the purpose of turning a compost pile? Is it A. To regulate temperature B. To promote anaerobic decomposition C. To discourage microbial activity or D. To provide oxygen and mixed materials and what is the role of moisture in composting? A. To inhibit microbial activity. B. To prevent decomposition. C. To provide a habitat for beneficial organisms. Or D. To increase compost pile temperature. Which of the following materials should you not add to a compost pile? A. Tea bags. B. Eggshells. C. Dairy products. Or D. Citrus peels. What is the approximate carbon to nitrogen ratio suitable for a balanced compost pile? A, 10 to 1, B, 20 to 1, C, 30 to 1, or D, 40 to 1. Lastly, which composting technique involves fermenting organic waste with effective microorganisms to accelerate decomposition? A, hot composting, B, vermicomposting, C, bokashi composting, or D, windrow composting. And now, for the moment of truth, here are the correct answers. 1. C, 100 to 120 degrees Fahrenheit. 2. A, worms. 3. C, sheet composting. 4. C, enhancing aeration. 5. C, sawdust. 1. D, to provide oxygen and mixed materials. 1. C, to provide a habitat for beneficial organisms. 8. C, dairy products. 9. B, 20 to 1, 10, C, Bokashi composting. So, how did you do? With every answer you got right, you're one step closer to becoming a composting master. Keep learning, keep composting, and keep making our planet greener. And don't forget, we have a surprise for you just for participating in our eco-friendly quiz. Aren't surprises great? So listen closely. We would like to give away one of these coffee cups or a Go Green Hub water bottle. Anyway, we're going to give away one. So let us know if you're interested, give us a comment, and we will have a special quiz drawing for one free coffee cup or Go Green Hub water bottle. Yes, the Go Green Hub is the go-to source for all things of sustainable energy and transportation. 